I'm bringing you the latest treatments to common everyday problems, and Brianna asked us for a solution to her embarrassing dilemma. Hi doctors, I'm really frustrated. About two years ago, I got this really big bump on my lower left leg. I don't know where they came from, but before I knew it, I had dozens of them up and down my leg. I've tried duct tape, freezing them off, I don't know what to do. I'm a cheerleader and these things are so embarrassing. Please help me get rid of these. Dr. Orton is back in our procedure room with Brianna and dermatologist Dr. Sandra Lee to address this condition. Take it away, guys. That's right, Dr. Travis. We're, the, we're conducting the wart lab today and helping me is Dr. Sandra Lee. She's back again with her That's right. patient and guest, Brianna, and she has warts. So first yes. of all, doctor, yes. what causes warts? Warts are caused by a virus, and there's many different kind of wart viruses that cause plantar warts, warts on the face, even genital warts. These, in, these specifically are flat warts, they're a specific type, and they commonly occur on the legs and even on the face. They're very flesh-colored, but they spread when you, when you shave your legs. That's when you may notice that you see them more. And they're very, very frustrating. I mean, if people have a lot of warts, then it could mm -hmm. be a sign that you have an immune system problem, you know, mm -hmm. like HIV people. People have transplants, so they're immunocompromised. But it also happens, in, especially in youthful people, because their immune system just hasn't grown up enough. They haven't okay. figured out that there's a wart living on them. And, you know, this virus is just going for a ride on you. It doesn't, you don't realize that it's there. So there's hundreds of ways to treat warts, literally hundreds. And you have some of those with, yes. with you the today. Reason, there's a reason there's a, that there's hundreds of ways is because there's not one single good way. If there was only one good way, there'd only be one. But this is something that we use in the office. This is liquid nitrogen, and you can see it sprays out. It's very cold. It's like 196 degrees minus centigrade. So it's really cold. We use this to treat it, which we'll do today. But other things that you can use that we prescribe, amicomod, which triggers interferon and triggers your body to kind of wake up and go, hey, there's a wart here. Let me get rid of it. This is really cool, too, because this is cantheridin. You can get this at our office. It's actually interesting because it's a chemical made from a blister beetle. And so this wow. beetle, when you step on it, you get a blister on your foot. So that we find that if we paint this on a little kid, they won't get a blister until 24 hours later, so they won't they won't be mad at us because this can hurt. So lots of options. Yeah, Canada too. So, and you touched on it briefly in Brianna's case, mm -hmm. you spread your warts from shaving, right? Yes. And I want to demonstrate because I think this is such an important point for our viewers out there. It's a phenomenon mm -hmm. called kebnerization, right. correct? Yes. And what she did, she had, she was shaving, she had some larger warts on her leg and what she did as she shaved these mm -hmm. off and you can see the green like so, yep. that it spread that virus, it spread that wart in a linear pattern. And what happens in this linear spread, mm -hmm. you get these flat warts, like you said, which can be difficult to treat. Yes, they're very, very frustrating. But you're in good hands. So we're gonna try to treat <laughs> one today, if you okay. don't mind, right? Yeah, let's, let's so do it. This is what it does. We're in essentially inducing frostbite, so you can see right here, I'm gonna try to make the area real white, and I can kind of see it really well when I freeze it with this spray. And I let it kind of cool down and do that a couple times, and what will happen is it'll get red, I'll form a little blister and kind of peel off, and hopefully it won't come back. So, Dr. Warren, I'd love for you to talk a little bit more about Kebnerization. Well, Kebnerization, <laughs> we haven't talked about it on the show, I'm but uh, now you know. First that's first. why, Travis, when you're shaving your legs, if you have a wart, just say no. It's all about Kebnerization these days. By Dr. Kebner in the 1800s. There you go. Right. Thank and you so show. much, Dr. Lee. And well, once, one second, Dr. Travis. Dr. Lee was nice enough to bring some before and after pictures of treating warts and give uh, Brianna an idea of what she has to look forward to when all of her warts have been treated. 